the most of the feedback you get is basically people concerned with the community. You know, policing, you don't solve your own crimes. You're concerned citizens. They're the first on scene. They're the ones that give us the information that brings us to solving crimes. Well, I think after September 11th, people actually realize that we're not out here just to shake people down, give people a hard time. So I think they get more involved with helping the police departments. Let's get another band that's uh, call and reported that they were throwing beer bottles from their car to their One, car. Four, two, three, two, up towards uh, Tainsborough, which is another town. Try to stop it before it uh, gets out of our town. Behind Brunswick. Hey, just the left, yeah. All right. Car 11's off with that vehicle behind Brunswick. Hey, guys, come here. Get over there by the van. Eleven alone, why don't you slide me in on the unit, please? Chance on the car. Right, six is on the way. Both of you. Chance on the car right now. You guys got anything bad on you? No, sir. Go ahead. Do you guys have a problem with somebody in traffic? No. You, you didn't? No. No, you think I didn't see it for no reason? Why don't you tell me what happened? No probation? Yes, sir. For what? Uh, I'm authorized use of a motor vehicle, sir. Really? Yes, sir. So why don't you tell me what happened? What happened, sir? Who threw the bottle? No idea, sir. You have no idea. Anything in this car I'm going to find before I rip through it? Broken piece up above the driver's seat. A broken piece of what? A bowl. Well, no, it's a bowl, but it's, it's broken up top. A bowl? Yes. Right. Is there any, uh, any drugs in the car? No, there is not, sir. No, sir. No, to my knowledge, and there shouldn't be. Who's, is it your van? It's my van, yes, sir. So come here a minute. So what happened? We're driving down the street. These people fucked us off. We took a turn. They started following us. Okay, what, what else happened? Nothing else? Good. No. All right. Um, so no other witnesses we have over there are not going to tell us a different story? I'm just giving you a chance to tell your story right now. So what happened? That's it, sir. Who threw the bottle? Basically, what it comes down to Who threw the bottle out of the car? I did not throw the bottle, sir. You did, you did not personally throw the bottle, no, so who not. threw it? I'm not sure. You're not sure? So you just had confrontation with them, and they supposedly flipped you off, so someone in your vehicle decided to throw a bottle out of that ca their car? So basically, you're in a non-about way, you're telling me that your, your passenger did it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Just God be straight up with me. I mean, seriously, you're already caught. We yes, already sir. got you. We're not here. Go we ahead. didn't come here out of nowhere. We just didn't get here for no reason. Yes, obviously, obviously, we got here because something happened. Right. Okay? So, how, how long have you known him? Three years. Three years? Good buddy of yours? You're yes, saying sir. you just don't want to rat him out, basically? Yes, sir. All right. Why don't you just go back over there. I'm going to see if he has a different story. Running in the intersection and are underway. Come here. Okay, you threw the bottle. Why did you throw the bottle? Because I'm stupid. I don't know. Call the three. Right, just because someone flipped you off? Yes, sir. All right. So what do you what do you think? Three, what do you think could have happened if you hugged that bottle and you take a I didn't come here a lot more since we threw the bottle. It doesn't matter. You threw the bottle. The bottle minus. Go back over there. Right. I'm going to go talk to them and then we'll get to me. How you doing? Why don't you guys want to get out of your car for a minute? Yeah. Where did that, where'd the bottle hit your car? In the back somewhere. In the back? Any, any damage? Uh, probably just scratches. It's about right. it. Either here or here, I'm not quite okay. sure. Yeah. All right, so what, what exactly, tell me exactly what happened. I was coming down Broadway Street, just yep. driving. Okay. Yeah, probably 30, because it's, you know, you can't come down that fast. He come flying up behind me, and he's screaming out the window, you Which one, which one was screaming? The driver. You but he's going like this in there with his hands. And I said to my husband, oh, my God. I said, look at this guy. Then he was like inches from my car, okay. blowing on, screaming. The other guy's hanging out the window, on. swearing at us. Right. He pulled away, and when he did, all of a sudden he went, you can see the beer bottle. He did an underhanded. He, he pulled the beer the bottle. The passenger wearing a red T-shirt. 
really threw it, it right at us. Car, and then I hear it, you know, crash all over the street. At what point did he come up beside you or try passing you? At the stop sign. The stop sign. At Broadway and Walker? No. Yeah. And then he went around you, cut you, basically well, ran. He did he run you off the road? What I'm not. Did he almost run you off the road when he, when he passed you? He tried to, I would okay. say. Okay, all right, yeah. that's good enough. Why don't you guys sit right over here? I'm going to come back, get your names. And I need your names, all, all your information. Find them all. Yeah, yeah, we got them over here. I want to hear a story about throwing the ball. What, what happened? Sorry, I told you after. Okay, so what, what, where did it happen? I don't know the street name, sir. I honestly don't. So after you got um, ran off the, after you guys were driving, going nuts, at what point did you decide you were going to throw the ball? We were at an intersection. I believe it was a stop sign, sir. Okay. I didn't right. throw it. To, I obviously didn't throw it to hit him because it okay. went way away. All right. And I, I, I was just being a I guess, sir. I, I wasn't going out to hurt their car in any means. Well, you, you know. It, we were right behind him, sir. If I, I had a bottle, I could have hit him. I want. You know, sir. Why don't you turn around for me? Yes, sir. All right. You know you're going to jail, right? Yeah. He's good to go to, Bill. He's good to go to. Just sit right there. Yes, sir. Can I ask for a whole couple of the rest of us? Salt by means, we need more the vehicle. What was that? Salt by means. Salt by you can read it at the bottom of the report, I'll explain it to you later. Right. Alright, here's where we're going. Both got arrested. Okay. Um, the driver is obviously going to be charged with assault by means, a dangerous weapon, which is a motor vehicle after he ran you off the road. Uh, as far as him throwing a bottle at you, we're just going to treat it as a wanton destruction of property. Okay. Did, did, it's an arrestable offense. Yeah. Um, he did damage your vehicle, so I'm going to make a note whether it's a small chip or not. And then I just need all your information, both your information, and then I can let you guys be on your way and okay. we'll take it from there.